Asteroid 2024 Y-R4 briefly turned a routine sky survey into a rare real-world test of planetary defense. Instead of fading into harmless status like most new discoveries, it rose high enough on the Torino scale to be treated as a genuine potential impact scenario until refined observations ruled Earth out. The situation wasn't dramatic, but it was meaningful, a chance to observe how the global response system behaves under real pressure. In this video, we will break down what happened, what scientists learned, and why it still matters. Let's get started. Asteroid 2024 YR4 entered the picture on December 27, 2024, when it was identified by the Atlas Survey. Its initial detection didn't raise alarms. These objects are cataloged constantly, and the majority are quickly placed on harmless trajectories. What made YR4 different was how its orbit behaved in the first few weeks of observation. Normally, as astronomers collect additional data points, the predicted path of a newly discovered asteroid becomes more precise, and potential risks shrink. In this case, however, each successive calculation widened the uncertainty in a way that temporarily favored a narrow set of trajectories crossing Earth's position in 2032. The shift wasn't caused by an inherent threat, but by the limited amount of early data available. Still, the effect was enough to raise the impact probability above the threshold where planetary defense protocols are activated. By late January, the estimated chance of Earth impact rose to just over 3%. That figure placed YR4 at level 3 on the Torino scale, a category for objects that warrant careful monitoring, but not public alarm. No asteroid had ever occupied that exact level before. The classification didn't imply imminent danger. It simply meant the object required more attention than usual. The response was deliberate and structured. The International Asteroid Warning Network issued an official notice, prompting observatories with large telescopes to obtain additional measurements. Through discretionary time and rapid coordination, facilities such as the Gran Telescopio Canarias, the Catalina Sky Survey, and the Very Large Telescope gathered the high-resolution data needed to refine YR4's orbit. This phase of the process demonstrated how efficiently the system can mobilize when an object behaves atypically. The improved observations quickly narrowed the asteroid's path and eliminated the scenario in which it would hit Earth. As the orbit stabilized, the asteroid's risk rating dropped to zero, as happens with most initially uncertain objects. However, the new orbital solution included another possibility, a small but noteworthy chance of impacting the moon in 2032. This did not create urgency, but it did keep the object in scientific focus. The discovery phase, while brief, revealed how well detection, communication, and global coordination can operate when an object requires closer inspection. It also showed that even modest uncertainty is enough to activate the planetary defense framework in a measured, evidence-driven way. Once confidence grew that Earth was safe, attention shifted to understanding YR4's physical properties. The new observations provided a rich data set, allowing scientists to characterize the asteroid with a level of detail not often available for objects of this size. One of the standout features was its rotation period, approximately 19.5 minutes. Fast rotation in small asteroids typically indicates a strong internal structure. Many near-Earth objects are rubble piles held together by weak gravity, but such bodies cannot spin quickly without breaking apart. YR4's rapid rotation suggests it is monolithic, or at least, significantly more cohesive than the loose aggregates commonly found in this size range. Spectral measurements showed the asteroid is likely an SQ-type, or K-type body, two categories associated with stony compositions rich in silicates. Minor differences in observed brightness across telescopes created debate over the precise classification, but all indications point to a rocky, moderately reflective surface. 
These characteristics influence how sunlight affects its orbit over long timescales and contribute to understanding the evolutionary history of small asteroids. Estimating YR4's size, placed it in the 40 to 70 meter range. This is a scientifically important bracket because objects in this category occupy the transition zone between air burst producing bodies and surface impacting bodies. A stony asteroid of this scale has the potential to release significant energy upon entering a planetary atmosphere, similar to the 1908 Tunguska event. Although YR4 is not on track to hit Earth, studying an object in this size range helps improve risk models for comparable bodies that may be discovered in the future. The moon impact possibility added another dimension to the scientific interest. With no atmosphere to shield it, any collision on the lunar surface would create a fresh crater and eject a plume that could be studied with high precision by lunar orbiters. Such an event would offer insights into surface mechanics, crater formation, and the behavior of debris in cislunar space. While the probability remains small, the potential scientific return from monitoring the scenario is significant. Beyond physical properties, YR4 acted as a practical test case for planetary defense. Simulations have long guided how agencies plan to respond to impact risk scenarios, but real events reveal details that drills cannot communication timelines, response speed, and observation logistics all benefit from real-world stress testing. YR4 provided this opportunity without escalating into a public or scientific crisis, making it a useful and controlled learning experience. This combination of physical interest and operational value makes YR4 an asteroid that will continue to be studied even after the immediate concern has passed. The YR4 incident offers several important takeaways for the future of asteroid monitoring and planetary defense. First, it underscores the importance of rapid response capabilities. Early projections can shift significantly depending on the quantity and quality of observations. YR4's initial uncertainty was resolved only after multiple global observatories gathered additional data, demonstrating the value of having flexible, coordinated observation networks that can react quickly when orbital paths appear ambiguous. Another implication lies in the broader view of planetary defense. Although YR4 no longer poses any risk to Earth, its potential lunar impact highlights that the scope of impact monitoring extends beyond our planet. The collision on the Moon would not threaten life on Earth, but it could generate debris that intersects satellite paths. As the number of satellites continues to grow, understanding how lunar impacts might influence space infrastructure becomes increasingly relevant. YR4's case also validates international coordination procedures. The activation of the International Asteroid Warning Network demonstrated that communication channels between agencies function as intended. It also highlighted areas where coordination can improve, such as expanding access to data and ensuring that smaller space programs can contribute observations. The event reinforced that planetary defense is inherently global and effective mitigation relies on shared information. Looking ahead, the incident strengthens the rationale behind upcoming missions designed to detect and characterize near-Earth objects. Projects such as NASA's NEO Surveyor and ESA's NEOMIR are designed to identify smaller, challenging to detect asteroids long before they enter periods of uncertainty. YR4 illustrates why this capability matters. While it ultimately proved harmless, the temporary ambiguity shows how much the system depends on early, high-quality detection scientists will continue refining YR4's orbit over the coming years as new observation windows open. These refinements will gradually reduce the uncertainty surrounding the moon impact scenario. Whether the asteroid misses or strikes the lunar surface, the process will yield valuable information about orbital dynamics and long-term object tracking. In a broader sense, YR4 serves as a reminder that not all important planetary defense events involve dramatic threats. 
Sometimes, meaningful progress comes from relatively small objects that behave unexpectedly. In this case, the event offered a controlled environment in which to observe how systems, instruments, and global coordination respond, all without generating widespread concern. The asteroid 2024 YIR-4 turned out to be harmless, but it offered a rare real-world test of planetary defense. It sharpened our understanding of how small asteroids behave and how global systems respond under pressure, and it leaves us better prepared for whatever the next unusual discovery brings.